Hello, I'm Dr. Byron Bucky Phillips, your tennis pro, back with a vital video today on communication in doubles. This is the first in a series of communication in doubles videos. Did you know that communication is the single one factor that will make you successful in your personal, professional, and tennis life? I spend hours every day teaching my tennis students, my doctoral students, my MBA students, my undergrad and my community college the importance of communication. Today we will delimit it to tennis. Now doubles communication is vital. I recommend that you communicate before every point. Today we have four of our players showing you how to give signals in doubles how to affirm that you receive the signal and then execute. So, we will see Jennifer A. give three different signals for a first serve. She'll give down the middle with a thumb. Good. She'll give middle finger, meaning serve at the body. She will give the little finger out wide, showing serve wide. Now, after each of those, just like a pitcher and catcher in baseball, the server, in this case, will say, OK. If you don't like the option, I don't like the word no. I'm the man who never says no. So you will just say, give me another signal. They won't do that today. They will say, OK. So remember that the server will affirm it each time so this is just a dry run. Let's say, Jen, you were telling Kenny to serve down the middle. And Ken would say, OK. Then you would give him a fist showing your stain. Later, I'll mention to you that I don't believe in ever stain. I believe that the net player should either fake or poach on every ball. The reason you give a signal is so you don't fake out your own partner. Your goal is to fake out the opposition. Okay, now we go to the demonstration. We start with Kenny Bunkport. He will be serving. Jennifer A will give him the first signal, which is a serve down the middle to A. Okay. Now she gives him the second signal, which is she is poaching. Okay. All right, ready? Ball. Excellent. Notice how once Jennifer A crossed, Ken then replaced her in her spot. Now, very important not to cross over too soon. Ken waited until Jennifer A moved because the receiver very easily could see if Jen A's not moving, but Ken is, I know the poach is on. Good job. Now we go to Todd. This time Jennifer will give him the infamous body serve. Okay. And she's going to give him a wide serve. And okay. she, is, she is not moving at all. Ready? Ball. Ball. Excellent. Finally, we have Joe. This time, Jennifer will give him a wide serve signal to B. Okay. And the shaky fist, okay. which means she's shaking. She's shaking and faking and baking. Do you know that I get people asking me every day, why do you need to shake the fist? It's because we want Joe to know that she's faking. If she doesn't do that, he might think he missed a signal. All right? So, give him. The service target, Jen. Yes. Okay. Now the shaky fifth. Okay. Ball. Ball. Yes. Terrific job. Notice how Jennifer A elicited the return. By faking, the person took the bait. She went back to the alley and put it away. On that video, these four tennis players did an outstanding job of modeling communication and doubles. This will be the first of many in a series of videos on communication.